Hi, it's me, Chandra Zas, Zen Odyssey, food and mood coach, feeling like crap. So I'm just gonna be super raw and honest with you guys this week and that's all about what my blog posts were about. I had a, I'd like to say it's unusual, but as I really think back about it, it's not so uncommon for me. I had a little bit of gluten at a party on accident and I have been suffering for the last 36 hours since I accidentally consumed some gluten. And I went to start work yesterday morning and I realized that I was incapable, like debilitated of working. And it kind of took my breath away and it for sure took my day away. I was unable to be productive. I was unable to create or work or luckily I didn't have anything, any appointments. Everything that I had on my schedule was move aroundable, but it was a big bummer for me. It was a really big bummer for me. And I ended up spending the day really, oh, the flies are back, these flies. We're living in Spain, up in uh, Northern Spain in a little town called Azcarate. And there's like 10 times more sheep than there are people here. And it is like a really crazy fly season. What can I do? <laughs> Shoe fly. Anyway, I was humbled to my knees about how gluten can really get me. I have a gluten problem. I've had a gluten problem my whole life and it's on the mild side of severe. <laughs> How's that go? Anyway, it just really made me think about all of my digestive clients because I've come so far in my digestive stuff that I really feel incredibly healthy most of the time, like the large percentage of the time. And I think that even with my uh, digestive handicaps, I still feel that I'm actually healthier than the average person. So I have come to like a really amazing place with my health through all of my work, through really dialing in my lifestyle, really um, creating like an epic food relationship. I've really come like an incredible way and I really feel even really proud of my health. And so to have this experience and to basically like scratch a day yesterday and just kind of like accept that I was not able to use my brain very well to have just total mental fatigue and brain fog and um, yeah, it was, it was a bummer. It was a really, really big bummer. So yeah, I wanted to kind of like show up and like share this part of me with you guys because in a certain way, I actually remembered more and even though there was a part of me that was like, what am I doing helping people with food and mood? I don't know anything, look at my state, you know, all of the self doubt and all of this stuff comes up. But then as I kept sitting with it and I kept thinking about how I used to feel that way so often and I didn't know how to get out of it, I also felt so much clearer and connected to my mission, to helping people with their food and mood through through the work that I do. So in a weird, twisted way, it was kind of a good thing. I like to look for the good things and things because it's part of the brain training. We can focus on what's problems and we can focus on where the solutions are. So anyway, in my blogs this week, I wrote about my story, my brain fog, my food induced brain fog. And then I went into, what was the second article? I still have a little bit of brain fog. The second article ah, was about gut and brain care, which is, I went into a little bit of the microbiome and the gut health and how the gut and the brain are connected. And for me, I've been doing self-experimental medicine for a couple decades, maybe even a little longer. 
of um, trying to figure out my health stuff myself. And it's been cool to watch the research come out and support a lot of what I have discovered. So it's cool now to like read all the science about the microbiome and the connection and all this kind of stuff. So I touch a little bit on that and I touch about the importance of it and what the microbiome is. And I know that every person would benefit from taking care of their gut microbiome. It is such an important part of our health, our immune system, our mental health, our emotional health. It's huge. And for me, it's especially huge with my, I think with, I mean, digestive stuff is like so common that, I mean, I feel pretty certain in saying that taking care of your gut microbiome and eating fermented foods and being really mindful of what you consume and what you put into your body, that food is not just for pleasure and just something that tastes good, but it's something that is creating you and creating your experience. So yeah, I just, I care about it so much. It's made such an impact in my life and I want to help more people understand this amazing connection, and this incredible pathway into feeling really, really good in life. It takes, well, I'm gonna stop there because it takes <laughs> this and that and we'll get in there more places, more uh, more weeks, more posts, more videos. But the, the last part that I wanted to share with you was a third article that I wrote, which is about coffee enemas. And coffee enemas are like one of my favorite things. They're really incredible medicine. I, yeah, it's a little bit shy talking about things going in our butt. It's kind of weird, <laughs> coffee enema, what? <laughs> but I have had a lot of success in getting out of foggy situations. And I have also, when I worked at a raw food detox center, I worked with a lot of people and saw a lot of impact with coffee enemas. It is incredible at reducing brain fog. I did a bunch of research trying to find out exactly what people, what the doctors and researchers are saying these days, but there is a connection in lowering the inflammation, clearing out the toxins, circulating the blood, cleaning the blood as the, as the coffee sits near the liver. There's a whole bunch of stuff that they are discovering is, is, is working, it's really, really helping. So I don't know if you have thought about it. I know a couple of you have. I've definitely been speaking to a few of you who are thinking about coffee enemas. And if you are, go to my article. I put a really good, a couple, one or two articles linked in there, um, why and how. And I highly encourage you to try it. It's really, really good venison, especially for digestive troubles. It's just an amazing way to help clear things out mentally, physically. So yeah, this is the, <laughs> I wanna say the gutter. This is the guts of food and mood. Our reality lies in our thoughts, in how we're perceiving the world, and a large portion of how we're perceiving the world is through our intestines. There is, there's still so much more research coming out. It's some of the leading edge research of what exactly is this connection, and they talk both directions, and there's just, if you care about your mental and your emotional health, you have to care about your gut. You have to know that they're connected. You have to tend to both of them. Yeah. Okay, I think this is enough minutes talking, but as you can tell, I'm super passionate and we'll, we will for sure come back to these topics. I hope you're having an excellent week. Check out the blog posts in the description below. As always, subscribe. Get some more of me in your screen. <laughs>